let's create the front bumper piece. That's this piece we have going on here. So as usual, let's bring back the guide meshes. And let's take the guide mesh for the body. And let's just press Shift and D to duplicate it. I'm going to move that into the vehicles collection here. Now let's disable the guide meshes. So just like we did with the others, we're going to go into edit mode and delete all the irrelevant vertices we don't need for this. So in this case, one of them is going to be this right here. So delete vertices. I want to take everything we have on the back and delete it. I'm going to take these two and I'm just going to hit J to join them. And I'm going to take everything else that's above it, excluding this one. And I'm going to delete the vertices. I'm going to take this one as well and delete it. Now let's take everything else we have up here and delete that. Now we can just take these vertices one by one and slide them onto the edge. So right around here you can see there's a cutout that uh, makes it down here and it makes its way continue into the top. So we're going to leave this one where it is right now and we're going to align the rest onto that edge. What I'll do in this area here, let me get into the front view. I'm going to press S and then Z and then type in zero. Now we're just going to share this with Control Alt Shift and then S. Now I want to press Y and then share this to about here, like so. Now let's get into camera view and see what that looks like. Now let me just take this. I'm going to slide it back until it falls on the edge here where the curves start to uh, cut in. Let me take this and slide it in a bit more. So to about somewhere around here should be good. I think I'm going to take this and let me just use the knife tool and then knife this. Let me get out of camera view here and into front view. I'm just going to knife this from here. I want to press A to align it vertically. And I want to press C just to make sure it's cutting through the whole thing. I'm just going to left click here and then press space to confirm it. Let me just take the whole thing here. I'm just going to move it in the Y axis a little bit. Let me get into the front view again, and I'm going to knife this one as well from here. Press A, and then knife it up here. And let me merge this to the last one here. And let's fill in a face in this area. Let me get back into camera view. I'm going to take this and then slide it down to around here. Now we're just going to add in one more in here, like so, just to support that curve. I'm going to add one more over here as well, and move it as close as the left one is to the middle one to about somewhere here, just to support that curve a bit more. We might have to move them in a little bit more, like so. And I'm just gonna move this one out a little bit more, like that. I'm gonna add one more to this one right here. We just keep it in the middle, like that. And that should give us that nice curve going on. And I'm gonna tighten this one a bit more. So let me just slide it in a bit. I don't know, maybe we put two in the middle here instead of one. And let me take this vertex here, or the edge loop here. And I'm just going to press X and delete that. Let's slide things around to try and fit this edge we have going on. So I'm just going to slide this down a bit. Let me slide this one down a bit. I think that's a pretty good start. Now let's get over to the side. And then let's use a knife tool and make a cut for this area right here. Now before we do that, uh, just like we did with the hood and the fender, I'm going to take this one right here, the edge we have over here. Let me zoom in so I, I select the right edge. Yeah, so this edge right here, I want to press Shift and D to duplicate it. I want to press P to separate the selection. And just like we did with the top, we're going to use this to cut this. In the right places so we can uh, we can start filling things in that area so let me just take this and slide it beyond and I think I'm gonna delete these ones and slide this beyond all right let me take this and slide this beyond let me take the edge we just created let's kill the shrink wrap modifier I'm just gonna move it in the X and extrude it in the X 
all the way to the other side. Let's remove the subdivision surface modifier. Let's add in a boolean to this mesh right here. So boolean. I'm going to select this as the object. I'm going to have to change the method. I'm going to switch to fast. And then let's see what that looks like. Let's disable the subdivision surface and let's set it down to 2. Let me move this up. Now let's apply the boolean. Now let's go into edit mode here and see how we can clean things up in this area. Let me merge, or let me take these two and press Ctrl B to bevel them until they are close to those two vertices we have over there. And I'm just going to merge this one to that with an M and then say at last. And I'm going to merge this as well to this at last. Now let's take a look at this area. I'm just going to take all of these and delete the vertices. Now let's take all of these and delete the vertices. Let me just take this one and then slide it down a bit to about here. Now let me take all three of this and then merge it to the last one right there. I'm just going to take this. You know what? First of all, let's make the cut for the area right here before we start cleaning things up. So for that, I'm just going to take all of these and then slide it in to about here. I'm going to do the same thing for this and then slide this into about there. Let's take the rest and then slide them in as well. Let me dissolve this vertex. Now let's make sure the spaces between them are even. Now let me just take uh, 1, 2 and then hit J. I'm just going to take these two as well and then hit J. Now let's move this to the backup. Now let's see how we can create the space here. Now before we create the space, uh, the gap between this piece and this piece, it's not the same as the gap between the hood and the front fender. And you can see that is the case in the reference image we have over here. So it's much more tighter between these two pieces than it is between the hood and the front fender. That's what we're trying and achieve in the end. It's adding supporting edge loops here so we can move things much nicely. So I'm just going to move it to around here. And I'm going to add one in here as well. Let me get to the side. Let me use a knife tool instead. Knife it from here to there. I'm going to merge this to the last one here. And let me just slide things in to about here. And I'm going to take these two and then hit J. Slide this up to about there. And I'm going to take these two. Let's hit J here. I'm going to slide this up as well to about there. Now let's press Ctrl and R through here and then press E and then F to align with the one above. I'm going to keep it right around here. Now I'm going to take this and then let me just slide it down. And let me take the inner one and dissolve that edge. Let me just slide it in a bit more. So to about somewhere here. And I think that's a good amount of space. Now let's take the whole thing here. Let's deselect this one. Before we slide it in. So to about somewhere here. And let's take this and slide that down to about there. Maybe a little bit more. Now let's make the cut we have in this area here. Let me switch this camera here to the front view so we can see things better. I'm going to slide this down a bit to about somewhere here. And then let's press Ctrl and R through here and add a loop cut to about here. And then we can then take all of this and then press X and delete the vertices. Now I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here to add in another loop cut to about somewhere here. Now let's enable the subdivision surface modifier and see what we have. So I'm going to take all of this and slide it in a bit more to about there. Let me add in a loop cut here for now so I can guide this one a bit more. So I'm going to take the whole thing and then slide it in to about there. Let me take this and slide this in so the it matches the angle we have going on. Now one more thing I'll do is to make the cut line we have over here. So I'm just going to slide this to about here. I'm going to press S and an X and type in 0 so it's it's a straight line over here. I'm just going to press Ctrl B to bevel this. And then let's leave in the space we think we want to add in. And that's going to be about this amount I think is good. Maybe a bit more. We can always move it later. So I think something like this is good. I'm just going to delete the faces. All right. Now let's add in supporting edge loops on both sides. So right here. And then on this side as well like that. 
Let's add one in here as well. Press E and an F. Align it with the top like that. Then we can do the same thing here as well. Align it with the top like that. I think I want to keep this side double. So I'm going to add another one behind this one. Like so. And then the same thing over here. Like so. Let's keep this side also double. So I'm going to add an extra one in here. Let's add a double in this area as well. So I'm just going to add it into about here. Dissolve all these edges and then use the knife tool and knife it from here to about there. Let's use this as reference so we know how far inside we're going to slide this in. So I'm going to take all the edges. And I'm going to slide it in to about somewhere here. And I just press Ctrl and R to add in the final one. Let me take this one and then slide it up a bit. Press E. And I'm going to slide it down to about here. Now let's add one in between them. I think I'm going to increase it a bit more. So let's undo this. Let me just press G twice. Press E. And then move it to about here. And then add one in between them like that. And I think that should be good. Now let's make our way to this area. Let me take all the edges we have over here. Let me get into camera view here. Let me get out of camera view here. Let me get into full screen. Get onto the side view. Now I'm going to shoot this down. So we can match it with the one on the right. To about somewhere here. I think it's the one above. This is the, the one below is the one that rounds it off. Unless I'm wrong. Yeah, I think I'm wrong. We're going to have to move it down. So we're going to move it down to this one right here. And then just like we did with that one, we're going to move it in the x-axis. So it should be on the same level as this one. So I'm going to get to the front view so we can see things. This is the one we have over here. So I'm just going to press G and an X. Let me take a look. I'm just going to press G and an X and move it to about there. And I think that should be good. Maybe slightly out. Let's spread this area out a bit. So I'm just going to slide things around to spread that area out. Now one more thing we have to do. Let's take these edges and let's get into camera view so I can show you. We have an extra extrusion down here. Uh, this doesn't show it too much. I think this one shows it. You can see we have an extra bit of extrusion that uh, angles onto the bumper below it. It's also visible in this area. It's also visible in this area. So let's try and then achieve that right now. So I'm just going to take all the edges and let's deselect the ones at the end here. Now let me just get into side view. I'm going to extrude it down in a Z to about somewhere here. I think this is it right here. I'm going to move it to about here. Now we're just going to press Gen and Y and move this in to about somewhere here. Now what we're going to do now is to make this, oh let me deselect all of these. Let me make this 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 one here the active element. Now let's get to the front view and into full screen. I'm going to press S and an X so we can shrink this one in just as much. Let me just press Ctrl and R through here like that. And let me take these two and press F. I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here and add one vertex in here and add one in between. And let's take these two and fill the faces. Now one last thing we're going to do is to take all of the edges we have over here, including this one. Now we're going to extrude these in the y-axis. So we're going to extrude it in the y-axis to about somewhere here. Let's get into camera view and let's get out to full screen and see what we have here. So I'm just going to send it in beyond where the headlights are sitting. Now you can go as far back as you want, but don't go too far back because then things start showing up in this area. So I think I'm going to keep mine right around somewhere here. And I think that should be quite good. Now let's add in supporting edge loops to these areas as well. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here and here. I'm going to press G twice and then press E and then F and move it to around there. Let's do the same thing here. So Ctrl and R through here, press E and then F. And let's move it to, to about here. And I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here as well and move it to about there. And let's take these three and merge it at last. I'm just going to slide this one in a bit. And I'm going to dissolve this one and dissolve the one above. Let's add one in here as well. 
I'm going to move it close to about there. I'm going to add one in here as well. Let me first of all make this one flat. So I'm going to press S and Y and type in zero so it's flat. And I'm going to move it in the Y axis a bit back to about somewhere here. I'm going to press Ctrl and R and press E and then F to align it with the one on the back and move it to about there. Let me add in an extra one to the ones on the back here. Now let's add in supporting ones on this side as well. Okay, very nice. I'm going to deselect all of these ones. Now let's dissolve the edges and I'm just going to take these two and press J to join them. Let me add one in here as well. I'm going to add one above. Did we already add one above? I don't think so. So we're going to add two of them above. So control and R and I want to keep it right around there. That should go all the way through. We can also try to match things with the one we have on this side. And I think it's pretty close enough. I'm just going to press control and R in here to add in the second one. And then we're good. I'm going to do the same thing here. So E to align with the one above. Control and R, and then there we go. All right, I think that's everything. Now we can go ahead, get out of full screen, and add in a shrink wrap modifier. I'm going to set it obviously to the body guide mesh, and we're going to have to define some vertices so they don't shrink onto the surface. All right, so let's go into edit mode, and first of all, we're going to assign everything. Now let's get in here, let's deselect the ones that we're not going to assign. So all of these. We're going to remove, and I think we need to add in supporting edge loops to this side as well. So Control and R, press E and an F, align it to there, do the same thing here, E and an F, or F twice. Now let's add in two more in the middle. Now let's take all of these all the way to there. Do not select the one at the edge. Now I'm going to remove these from the surface. Now let's select it and see which ones are selected. All right. I'm going to deselect all of these ones as well. Let me get here. Take all of these to the very bottom, which is going to be this one. I'm going to remove those as well. Now let's select it again and see what we have. Okay, we're going to remove these ones as well. So remove. Let's select again, see what we have. I'm pretty sure that is it. Now we're going to have to assign this one. Let's assign this one. So assign and then select. And let's see what we have. Now let's go ahead and then put that into the shrink wrap modifier. And let's enable it and see what we have. We just have a few things to do and then I think that will be it. Let me take a look at this area. Let me zoom into this area so I can see things better. Uh, yeah, let's take this whole thing here, all of these, and let's move it in a Y so it sits directly on the surface, like so. so something about there. Let me move this out, deselect these, and then move these in to about there. Let me do the same thing here. Now the best thing we could also do is to just is to just duplicate the shrink wrap and then apply it once. Just so it shrinks it onto the closest surfaces we have. Now let me just take all of these. Now let's remove it from the group. Just so we have a nice rounded edge. And just like we did with the one here, we're gonna take all of this one here so it goes all the way through including this and I'm gonna assign it 2.3 like so so assign and then let's take the one above so this one let's set it to 0.5 and then assign now I'm gonna take the one above that which is this and we don't want all of these so we're gonna have to deselect all that and then all this as well I we'll have to deselect all of these. I think we have an issue here. We'll fix that in a sec. Let me get out of this and set this to 0.8. And then let's assign that. 
I think the problem here is we're gonna have to take all these and one, two, three, maybe. And then we're just gonna remove those. I think we have a bit of an issue in this area. The best way we can fix this is to just take all of this and just bevel it. And then maybe let's just take all the edges we have in here. So we'll go into edge select mode and select all of the edges here, all the way to this side. And let's just use the loop tools on them so the spaces are even. Let me just duplicate and apply the shrink wrap modify again. Let's see how that looks. Might need an extra loop cut in here. So I'm just gonna put one in here. And let's duplicate and apply it again and see what we have. So duplicate and apply. And that should fix this area a bit more. Let me just add an extra loop cut in here and then slide it up to about here. And let's remove that from the vertex group here. Let me add one more in here as well and remove that as well. You know, let's just hit select over here to select all the vertices we've currently assigned. And then let's assign everything again. So assign, and then let's go in here. Let me select the ones we have below, the bottommost one here. And I'm just gonna remove that from the surface. And then let's take the one directly above that, which is this. I'm gonna have to take it on both sides and deselect these ones. Now let's just set it to 0.5 or 0.3. And then let's hit assign. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, I think this is good enough. We can get away with this. If you want to fix this area a bit more, you can yourself, but I think I'm going to keep it. All right, now the final thing we're going to do is to add in the solidify modifier. So let's get out of full screen. And then let's add in a solidify modifier. Let's apply the scale. Let's enable even thickness and only rim. I want to go with 0 0.05. Now we're just going to duplicate this. I want to set this to 0 0.025. And then we're going to apply the one above. Now we're going to have to clean things up a bit, but first of all, let's remove it from the vertex group. So remove. Let me set this to one. And then let's clean things up on this mesh a bit more. So I'm just going to hit Control and I and then hide everything else. I'm going to hit the uh, empties and the cameras as well. So what we can do is let's disable this icon on this one. Just so those ones are not selectable. And we can just hide everything else. Yeah, just so these cameras and the empties stay where they are. All right, so let's clean things up. I'm going to hide this one. And let's clean this one up. Now let's go ahead and apply the second solidify modifier. Just like the first, we're going to clean things on these ones as well. But first, let's delete the face in the center. Now we can start cleaning. Now let's press alternate to bring everything back. As you can see, it's looking really, really good. Now the final thing we can do, which is what we did with the previous two panels, we're going to add in 
extra loop cuts in the middle here. Now we're going to go ahead and then remove those from the surface vertex group here. Now let's get back into object mode and press alternate to bring everything back. Now let's take those edges. Now we're just going to hit Alt and S to shrink things out to about something like this. Maybe a bit more. So I'm just going to shrink it out to about something like that. Let me just add extra loop cuts over here on these both sides of these uh, objects here. Now I'm just going to take all of these. We'll select the whole thing except for these ones. I'm just going to move it in the X a bit. Like so. Now let me just move it in the Y a bit. Like so. And just move it in the X slightly and in the Y slightly. Let me take this edge. Let me deselect everything else. That's the middle edge. I want to move it in the X axis a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Deselect everything else we have here. So all of these. Like that. And I'm going to move it in the X as well. Just a little bit. Okay, maybe that's too much, just a little bit. Now we can rename this and call it the front bumper piece. 